can you all hear me? Yes. Can you all please do me a favor? Can you um, turn to your left or your right and shake hands with that person next to you? And also say hello. <clears throat> now you all just met a real person. You touched someone and you heard that person's voice and from that you got an impression about that person. You could also meet me in the same way. You could come up here on stage and touch me and talk to me and get to know me or my analog persona. Then there's also a different me you can meet. That's a black... <laughs> Now, this is part of my digital persona. Now, my digital persona and my analog persona have a lot in common, although my digital persona seems to be a lot less shy with girls these days. And one thing they have in common is that they're both actors and theater makers. It is a widespread theory it is a widespread theory that theater should be a mirror for society. It should show society its behavior, its beauty and its darkness. I'd like to take that a little bit further. Not only do I think theater has the responsibility to be society's mirror, I also think theater should be society's fortune teller. I think theater should give us an idea of where we're heading. I'd like to take a moment now to talk about how, and not just yet why, TEDx invited me here today. TEDx sent me an email asking me if I would like to speak here tonight. When they sent me that email, they had neither talked to me nor met me. But I'm sure they met, they met part of my digital persona. I'm sure they researched me, they researched the companies I work for, they researched the productions I put on, and so on. From that, they got an impression about me that led them to believe that I was worth inviting here today. They could obviously make a better decision from knowing digital persona Felix than analog persona Felix. Now, that all was neither surprising nor shocking to me. Most of us will know this man, Edward Snowden what he did and what he showed us. Snowden is a computer analyst and whistleblower. He provided the public with top secret national security agency documents that led to revelations about US surveillance on phone and internet communications. Now, the reaction or the lack of reaction by the public to that was shocking and surprising to me. In the example how TEDx invited me, we established how important digital personas are. And we also know now what happens with them, with that information. It gets passed on to others, to companies, corporations, governments. Now, what if in the future, these third parties can not only access this information, but can also partially adjust it? control it. What does that mean for our society, for our digital personas, and most importantly for our analog personas? Now that I'm a theater maker who likes to tell the future, I created a theater piece called Eschaton, dealing exactly with that scenario. Eschaton means end times or final days, and I'd like to show a short part of the trailer for Eschaton.
Eschaton is a hybrid mix of linear theater, dance, musical, and multimedia performance technology. In Eschaton, we follow a hacker who fights the last and only superpower left on the planet. Now, this topic or scenario is not new. It has been written about and made into films several times. But reading books and watching films is a lot different from experiencing theater. It is a lot more distant. I'd like to take a minute now to talk about the process of producing Eschaton. I started writing Eschaton two years ago. At the beginning of the year, I found the space to put the piece on. I then started a production company called Berlin Birds to execute the process. I found collaborators, I found multimedia performance technology artists. I found actors and dancers to perform, I found composers to make sound and music, and so on. The team is around 25 people now, and all these people agreed to do this for very little money or for free. So I put it on a crowdfunding website to at least hopefully give them some compensation for the energy in their work. The Vosperton Performance Group tries to create futuristic environments, not only in theater spaces. And I would now like to introduce Peter Vosper, who is the director and founder of the company, who is also here tonight with me. Now, <laughs> now Peter and myself, we don't just want to show the future on stage. We'd also like to change the experience an audience member can have. What if an audience member can also experience theater through the perspective of the performer? And what if the performer can also have the perspective of the audience member? What if an audience member cannot only experience the analog personas of the performer and the other audience members around him, but also their digital personas at the same time? Now, all this is uh, very difficult, technically. And with all this in mind, I'd like to do a little experiment now. <laughs> I like seeing the people's fear when I come on stage. <laughs> How about you? What's your name? Uh, Timothy. Timothy, <laughs> yeah. Grab this mic. Would you like to swap uh, places for, uh, with me for a moment? It's only take a minute. Yeah. You can have this. All right, yeah. <laughs> You can have this, you can press on the green button, and you can have my cards in case you <laughs> want to read something. Uh, uh, so I'm, I'm yeah, just go on stage, and then both of us, both of us will, both of us will, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm doing your presentation. Now. Yeah, you have to use the mic when so you talk. I'm yeah. <clears throat> you're, you're talking about, re we're talking together about redefining perspectives, and you can use the slides. Okay, um, okay, uh, so I'm doing, yeah, yeah. okay, um, this, is it this, is a, this is one of the performance, um, the moments of your yeah, this is a, Vesper, uh, Vesper performance. This is a um, Vesper drone lights a dance and okay. graphics, yeah. And I this, used to press the other button, yeah. Okay. All right. Uh-huh. Uh <laughs> uh, that. Um, okay. Yeah, that is. This is something I clearly have no idea about. Um, this is a live video setup. Live video setup, exactly, precisely. Um, um, yes, that's very good. Br uh, yeah. Um, no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't. You gotta help me out here. Full body motion capture. Well, yeah, so full. I can yeah. read. Yeah, full body mo motion capture. Um, Doing really well, Timothy. Thank, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> this is so. Um, this is the the this is the interactive screens. <laughs> Uh, th this is uh, digital, or this is a digital nah, performance? I think, no, I, no. Yeah, I think it was digital. No, this is a real This level. is the real performer, yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. 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 Uh, before it was digital, before it was digital. That's, ah, That okay. is a real performer. Okay. 
this is the connected term. This is the connected term. You're doing really well. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Uh, next. Oh, this is. Uh, oh, okay. Here we go. This is Tim Hefner. This is my Google Images. Yeah. And this is. Okay, that's really creepy. <laughs> this is your YouTube. Oh, okay. Um, and you can press the green to go this. on. Yeah, wow, it's doing it. I just got it to start. Okay, and... Uh, and this is a video. Yeah, this is first. clearly a video of my case. Please, here. please stop Peter. this here. Thank, uh, you. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> you should stop here. <laughs> All right. That was interesting. Um, now, technology can be a good and helpful tool in any walks of life. But technology is developing really, really fast, faster than anything else, and maybe faster than some people can cope with and keep up. I do not know how important or powerful your digital persona should be compared to your analog persona. But I do know one thing, your digital persona will be controlled by you or someone else. Thank you very much. <laughs>